Hello, hello, good night. Hi. Hello, hello, good night. Can you hear me, guys? Yes. That's great. Hello. I'm so happy to see you. Thank you. Hey, Steffi, I cannot see you right now. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go, my girl. Hi, Louis, how are you? I cannot hear you, Louis. Yeah, thank you, teacher. Oh, yeah? Okay, cool. Yes, yeah, thank you. Allow me just a couple of minutes. There you go. Okay. Let me switch it up my device, I think. Yeah. Is it okay? Oh, yes. Yes, very good. Okay, guys, today is going to be our last week. Uh, uh huh. Yeah, I'm so sorry about it. Okay. Yeah, it's our last week, guys, but um, we're, we're going to we... do our best, okay? Really? Yes. Okay. It's our last week together. So, we're going to work hard. What do you think about this group, teacher? What? What do you think about our group? You're great. Great. Yes, I'm happy to have <laughs> you, all of you. <laughs> I'm so happy, yes, basically. Uh -huh. I'm really happy with you. You're yeah. hard workers, and that's what I love the most. Okay. Today, guys, okay. We're going to talk about um, mm -hmm. two bird tenses that they are uh, meant to get confused uh, with some of them, with some guys, girls, uh, because they don't know exactly, they, they maybe know this grammar structure, but they do not know when to use it and how they use it. And uh, today we're going to talk about simple present, present perfect. Have you heard about those uh, bird tenses? Yes. Uh -huh. yes? Yes. All righty. Uh -huh. Who can tell me what is a what is a simple past? When do we use a simple past, guys? Simple past. Mm -hmm. Yes. When do we use it? Maybe I may I remember that I can use in the in the answer, for example. Mm hmm. Uh -huh. Or a specific situation that the finish in the past. Uh -huh. Exactly. Very good. You mentioned something really important, Luis. A specific situation that finished in the past, but uh -huh. also that started in the past mm -hmm, exactly. and ended up in the past. Mm -hmm. Can you give me an example about it, Melvin? Yes, this is the, the use of was, wasn't, mm -hmm. and, and positive negative statement. Exactly, okay. with the verb to be. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. But also you can use regular and irregular verbs also. Correct. Right? That's correct. All righty. So can you give me an answer or, or a sentence using the simple past? Positive state. Positive. Whatever. I moved, I moved here 10 years ago. Ah, okay. All right. I moved, I moved here 10 years ago. You moved there 10 years ago. Okay. Uh -huh. The okay. quarantine finished today. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Very good. Uh huh. Any other example, Luis? Another example with um. The quarantine. No, with the past tense, with the simple past. I okay. Um. I used to play. No, I used to play basketball when no. What no. happened with this, Noah? Mm -hmm. I, okay, I work, I work it uh, all day, this day. All right, yeah. very, very good. Okay, it started in the past and ended up in the past. For example, I ate a scrambled eggs this morning. You see? That yes. happens really early morning. And now we're all about to getting, go back to sleep, right? So that means that I started in the past and ended up in the past. Mm -hmm. Very good. What about present perfect? What is the difference? Good question. <laughs> good question, right? <laughs> good question, right? Adela, 
Gabby, Victor, Big. any Big. idea? What it, what is uh, when do we use the simple pre the present perfect? Gabby? When the action is no end in uh, in the past uh -huh. and continues in the future. Uh, okay, exactly. Similar idea, but that's good. Exactly. You're right at one point. Uh, the action started in the past. Very good. Very good. Not finished. Uh, but have not finished yet. Because it has some um, uh, results in the present. Okay. No, not in the future, Gabby, in the present. For example, let me, let me uh, take the example of what Melby said right now, okay? He said, um, I moved here 10 years ago, he said, right? That's what he said, okay? How we can construct or how can we use that sentence into present perfect? 10 years ago was 2010, right? I live in this house uh, 10 years ago. Aha, uh -huh. that means 2010 because we're in 2020, right? Yes. Okay. But in this construct sentence, we need to use auxiliary have, have right? Mm -hmm. have. Very good, uh, excellent. You see, you see, deja vu. Deja vu, that, that means that you already know. And then, let's see, your knowledge is coming out of the box. <laughs> exactly. <I don't> <laughs> All right. I've been in this house, in this house, uh, since, uh, okay. Let me give you an example uh, sentence. Take a look at the chat right now. Uh, we can, uh, Melvin said, I've been in this house since 2010, right? Yeah. The, the, the sentence missing the, the auxiliary verb have. I uh -huh. have been. Uh -huh. with, with Yay, the, you uh -huh. noticed that. Great. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I made that mistake on purpose. I want to know if you were paying attention. Exactly. You're right. Uh, very good observation. Very good. You got one point, Luis. Thank you. Very good, excellent, excellent job, Luis. Yeah, I, I made a mistake and I wanna know if you noticed that. <laughs> Very good, excellent job. Is that correct now, Mr. Luis? Yeah, that is yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the abbreviation, right? Apostrophe V-E, uh -huh. I've, all right, I've. That, uh -huh. You know that that is a contraction weight or have, okay? How? Okay, mm -hmm. so Melvin says, I've been here in this house since 2010. What that means? The back in 2010, he started living in that house. And right now, 2020, 10 years later, he's still there. You see the difference? Yes. Okay. An action started in the past, but has some particular influence in the present. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And take a look that we use since, right? With present perfect, we can use since, we can use for etc today we're going to learn that okay so don't worry but Luis also mentioned something really important we use the auxiliary have guys do you remember for which pronouns do we use the auxiliary have with i are you sure emerson have have mm -hmm. yes I, with i they we you very good, excellent. What about in what auxiliary do I use with a he she it? Has. 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 Very has. good. Mm -hmm. What is the negative way for have? Haven't. Have or have not. Or have not. What about has? Hasn't. Hasn't. Or has not. Very good. All righty. Excellent job. You see, you you remember. I know that you know. This is like a refresh for you, right? Because you already have seen the simple past and the present perfect. But we need to figure it out. When do we use it? How do we use it? And what's the difference for them? Okay? Yeah. So that will be the déjà vu for today. And if we have time, we're going to start also two topics we're going to see today. <gasps> wow, yes. And we're going to do a lot of exercises, right? Writing exercises and speaking exercises. Are you with me, guys? Yes? Okay. Yes.
Are you ready to rock and roll with me? This is the last week, so we need the party going to start. Let the blog start. I'm just kidding. Let the class start. Well, basically, it already have it started, right? <laughs> Very good. Excellent. All right. So I love it. Just a couple of minutes. Let me show you something. And just let me know if you're able to see it or not. Okay. Welcome, Adela. Welcome, Renee. Welcome, Letty. Mr. Emerson, it was a pleasure to see you. Mr. Victor, don't fall asleep. Don't fall asleep. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. Hey, Gabby, you look beautiful today. Thank you. You look fresh. <laughs> and the baby girls are asleep? No yet. No yet? Okay. She can be in our class. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Very good. All righty. There you go. Uh, let me just a couple of minutes. Let me show right now my screen. Huh? And let me know if you're able to see it. Okay. Welcome, Melvin. Hi, guys. Can you see it? Yep. Yes. Okay, cool. Yes. All righty. This is what we're talking about right now. You see it's simple pass. We got to use the verb, guys. Here. E plus ED. For which verbs? Regular or irregular, guys? Uh, regular. 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 Can I have a, a, an example of a regular verb? Walked. Walked. Finished. Very good. Exactly. Cooked. 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 Very good. Excellent. What about an example of irregular verb? Being. Went. Being. All right. Another one? When talking. Uh huh. Went. Talking. Went is the past of what? Which verb? Of go. Of go. go. Another one? It. Go. Speak. The speak is the present tense. So what is the past tense of a speak? It's spoke. Spoke. It's spoken. Spoke. Spoken is the, is the past participle of the verb. But very good. But with simple past, we use only the past tense. Uh, past tense. All right. Very good. Speak. So take a look here, guys. Okay. When when the, uh, the action is started, can you see it? Mm-hmm. When the action started, here, right, in the past. And the action, guys, it stays also in the past. You see? Mm -hmm. Exactly. So easy peasy queasy, right? Piece of cake. Is that correct? Yeah, there's correct. Oh, oh, yes, teacher. That's correct. <laughs> yeah. Yes. What about this one? Take a look at the past perfect. All righty. As you said, which is the auxiliary that we use, guys? Have or has or has. has. And now you're writing this one, uh, Luis. Take a look which which verb do we use? Which form? Participle. Has had is a bowl. Exactly. That means the third line, uh, Luis. Speak a spoke. Okay. Spoken. Spoken. Very good. What is the past participle of B? Being. 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 What is the uh, past participle of cut? Cut. 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 Exactly the same. What is the past participle of the steal? Steal. Stole. Stolen. 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 Very good. All right. What is the past participle of the be begin? Begun. 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 Exactly. Break. Broken. Bro broken. Broken. Very broken. Broken. Very good. Okay. Awake. Awaken. 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 You see? Very good. So you need to know them, guys. And basically, if you know, we we must uh, we must use irregular verbs. We can use also regular, but most of them will be irregular ones. And take a look at this one, guys. When the the, the action starts. In the present, in the past, exactly, in the past. But you can see here that for some period of time has a influence in the present, you see? Continuous in the present. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Yes. yes. There you go. All righty. And take a look at the sample here. All righty, there you go. Okay, we already have seen that. Let me show you this one, that this is real important. I just make guys a little notes about the difference between each of them, all righty. Who can help me? Okay, guys, we have here, um, 
we have four difference between the two, okay? So do me a favor. Melvin, could you please be so kind to read for me the simple present, the simple past, sorry, the simple past um, column, the first one, this one. Hi, Melvin. Are you there? Melvin. Mr. No. Melvin. Mr. Melvin. Maybe he has problems right now with the microphone. Uh, Adela, there you go. Do me a favor. Can you please be so kind to read for me this one, the first part of Simple Pass? Express feelings fine. Very good. We used Simple Pass to express finish time. And we do have a sentence. Can you please read it for me also? We live in Japan from 1995 to 1998. Exactly. Guys, let me ask you something. What do you understand about this example? What does it mean, this sentence? Anybody? That yeah. they live in Japan for a period of time that end in 1998. For three Eight. year. Very good. Uh, may I ask you guys, right now, 2020, are they still li uh, living in Japan? No. Uh, no. No. You see, that action finish. You see, express finish time. For mm -hmm. Luis said, from, from, from three years, from 1995 to 1998, we lived in Japan. But right now, we are no longer there anymore. You see? Mm -hmm. that, that action stayed in the past. All righty. Now, guys, we use the present perfect, as we said, for this, to describe unfinished time. Do me a favor now. Um, Luis, could you please be so kind to read for me that define, describe unfinished time for present perfect? Describe unfinished time. Mm -hmm. e e e I work as a teacher since 2011. Okay, very good. But can you please be so kind to repeat it to me the question, the sentence again? I read one more time. Yes. I I work as a teacher since 2011. Mm -hmm. You're missing something. I've. I've. Okay, again. I've. Mm -hmm. I've. I've worked as a teacher since 2011. Very good. Here, okay. guys, if you see, we have, Iva. we have, have, right? This is that contraction way, okay? Guys, what kind of bird do we have here? It's a past participle. Of it's the a past work. participle, but what kind of bird? Regular or irregular one? The regular. Regular one, exactly. That's why we have ed at the end, right? Okay. If And also, guys, in present perfect, we always were going to use this, this, uh, these phrases. Since, okay? That means this day, all right? So guys, if you, if you read this sentence, what does it mean for you? What do you understand? EG ha trabajado como teacher desde el 2011. Exactly, Melvin. That means that, let me ask you, here in 2020, <coughs> am I still a teacher according to this sentence? Yes. Yes. You see, guys, back in 2011, I started as a teacher, but today we are um, August the 24th of 2020, and I'm still a teacher. You see? You see the difference? This yeah. is an unfinished yeah. time. All righty. Okay, guys, what about the next block for the simple past? Refer to definite time. Who can help me right now? Mm, 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 mm. Stephanie, could you please read it for me, guy, girl? Yes, I saw the I saw the Eiffel Tower in two thousand seven. Okay, I saw the Eiffel Tower in two thousand seven. Okay, what does it mean, guys, for you? What does it mean? How do you understand the sentence? The person is was busy. Uh -huh. Exactly. In, in what year? Year. 
in 2007, exactly. And you see, we have here, so. So you see, you refer to definite time, okay? You didn't specify the, um, the month, but you did provide me information about which year you saw the Eiffel Tower, right? Alrighty. Okay, what about person perfect? Refers to indefinite time. That means that you're not a specific. Who can help me read it? Okay, who can help me? Boo, 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 boo. Let me. Emerson, go ahead, sir. Okay, I have seen the Eiffel Tower. I have seen the Eiffel Tower. All righty. Okay. You see, first of all, guys, you have using the auxiliary have, right? And also you have here the past participle of which verb? See. 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 Exactly. All righty. Yeah. So you have to remember that the past participle goes after the auxiliary have or has, okay? All the time. But tell me, guys, what do you what do you understand about this sentence? I have seen the Eiffel Tower. What does it mean for you? What do you understand? Estoy, estoy viendo la Torre Eiffel. No. no. I have no. seen la the Eiffel Tower. He visto, exactly. He visto la Torre Eiffel. Exactly. Exactly. Very good. Very good, Gabby. Very good, guys. That means that that let me know that I know that that monument. You see? I know it. I have seen it. Okay? But guys, do I let you know when I have seen that Eiffel Tower? No. All right. No. Because there is no there is no specific time here. There is not June, there is no January, there is not a month, no year. All that I'm letting you know is that I know that monument. Okay? I have seen it. La he visto. All right? But I, I do not provide you more information about it. You see? You mm -hmm. see the difference? All right, mm -hmm. and the last one. Indicate series of finished actions. Mm, who can help me right now? Where are we? Rene. Could you please be so kind to read it for me? The last part. Mr. Rene, are you here with us? Or Victor? Hey, Vic. I don't know that maybe they're not there, right? Yes, I'm here. Yes, all righty, very good. Okay, Vic, thank you. The last part, please, for simple pass. Um, this one. I got a problem with my internet. Oh, okay, not a problem. Uh, who can help me? Gabby, what about you? Okay. First, he read the book, and then he watched the movie. Very good. You see, guys, we have like a series of action. What is the first action? Read the book. And after that? Watch the, Watch the movie. Exactly. You see? Indicate series of finished actions. For example, Luis, tell me something. What did you do in the morning? In the morning, I, I, I drive. You drive or you drove? I, I, I drove. I you drove, drove my car in the morning. Okay. What else you do it then? And then... Uh, uh, I I don't know this. I I arrive mm -hmm. at the office. Arrive the office. Very good. I I had a a meeting. Very you. good. You see, you you already explained to us, your or you indicate serious or finished actions. You drove your car. You arrived at your work, and you had a meeting. You see, everything was passed. All right. So you're letting me know sequence of actions that you did in the past. That's what it means, simple press. What about express experience or result? Who can help me now? Let me check. Roxy. Hello, Roxy. How are you, my girl? Hi. Hi. Very good. It's nice to have you here. Could you please be so kind to read it for me on present perfect side? Express experience or result. Can you please read for me the sentence? Okay. She has already watched it this movie three times all right she has already watched this movie three times okay we have here guys has why 
Why not have? Because it should. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Why, Roxy? Tell me, Roxy. Or Gabby, okay, who wants to participate? Go ahead. Because it's third person. Very good. All right. In here, guys, we have the verb watched, right? Regular or irregular, guys? Regular. Regular, Regular. accent. And guys, take a look at another word that we use in present perfect. Already. Okay. Already. Also, we have scenes, all right? Don't forget that. All right. So tell me, guys, according to what you have read, what does it mean? She has already watched this movie time, three times. What do you understand about that? Mm -hmm. Ella visto la película tres veces. Exactly. That means that she already knows that movie, right? Yes. Yes. It's, it's not the first time that she uh, that she watched that movie. Okay. Very good. So, guys, let me ask you. Do you understand right now the difference? Yes. Yes? Any yes. questions, any doubts that you might have right now? Speak or sip it. Any questions, guys? Any doubts? Victor, Adela, Mauricio, Melvin, Luis, Gabby, Rene, Victor? Anybody? No? Cool? No questions. No questions. Are you sure? Okay, 100% sure, right? Okay. There you go. Guys, let me ask you. Do you think we can use the present perfect and the simple past together to talk about something? What do you think? Yes. 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 Let me give an example. There you go. Take a look at this first one. Have you ever eaten snails? Guys, if you are formulating a question with present perfect, first you gotta put the auxiliary have at the beginning of the question, All right? Then we have the subject. This one, guys, is really important. Do you remember that we have seen there's words that we use with present perfect? We use since, we use already, and there's another one, ever, okay? This is really important, guys. Hey, and here we have the past participle of the verb, eaten. What is the present of this one? Eat. It. it. Have you ever eaten snails? ¿Alguna vez has comido caracoles? This is a just yes, no question with auxiliary have. Why? Because you can use yes or no. Yes, yes. I have. You see? Guys, this one, take a look. This first part is the immediate answer of the question, okay? So, yes, I have. If you want to provide more details information about when did you eat the, the snails, you use Pass, simple pass. You notice this? Take a look. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes I have. That's the immediate answer for the have you ever eaten snails question, for the present perfect question. Now, if I would like to add more details, I will let you know when I taste snails, I use the past tense, you see? I tried, I tried them last month, you see? Do you remember guys? That with simple past, take a look, let me go back. Okay. Do you remember, guys, that with simple past, we provide or we'll express a defined times? Do you remember this? Yes? Yes. Okay. So here, we're putting in practice these two. Take a look. Mm -hmm. Let me change it here. You see? Yes, I have. And you here, guys, you are providing refer time, a specific information. You didn't let me know if it was Monday, Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, but you let me know the last month you tried what? You tried the snails. Okay? 
So you provide me that detailed information. Okay. And Richard, yes, Roxy. I have a question. Go ahead, girl. This um, present perfect mm -hmm. is the same with I use have been mm -hmm. eat, eat snails, for example. Have you? Yes, yes, exactly. Remember, let me go back here because you were not here in the class when I was playing it. Eh? Remember, Roxy, a present perfect you use have or has, okay? Plus the past participle of the verbs. It could be regular verbs or irregular verbs. In this case, being is going to be the past participle of the verb to be. Is that okay? Yes, but uh, mm -hmm. in, the, in this case, in this and this. Um, mm -hmm. In uh, this question? I use have been it. O sea, use un verbo después del have been it. Como yo he estado comiendo. Oh, no, that's different. That's different, Roxy. That is the present perfect continuous. That's different, okay? Okay. We're not going to get into that right now, okay? Because we also have past perfect as well, okay? I'm talking about right now how we can we use simple past and present perfect together. Okay, guys? And um, let's continue with this because I was explaining this. And if you would like to... Also, to continue, guys, talking about in the past, you can ask more details about the experience that that person has eating snails. You can say, did you like them? You see? Yes. Simple pass. The immediate answer will be, yes, I did. Because this is also a just no question with the auxiliary, did. And you can continue with the pass. They were delicious. Do you understand or you know, or you can um, uh, figure it out how can we use both tenses at the same time, guys? Any questions? Yes. No. Is it easy, busy, queasy? Yes. And, no. Question. Yes, Melody, Question. I knew it. I knew it. Go ahead. The, the use to the simple mm -hmm. past and yes. in perfect present, not is only only question mode is to yes maybe an, an affirmative yes of course also yes okay. i just i just uh gave this example like to let you know how we can use them together but also you can use it as a press as a present way you can use it as a negative way but i just want you guys to take a look of how we can do that for like continue a conversation okay like for being more fluent okay. For example, here, the first one, you, you answer immediately to the uh, present perfect question. But then if you would like to add more details, you need to use the past tense of the verb, okay? To specify when do you eat it. And then if you would like to know more details information about how was the experience, you continue with the past. You immediately answer the question to the past, and then you provide more details also using the past, okay? Okay. Is that, uh, is that okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. For example, guys, take a look at this one. Uh, I just started with, the, with a present perfect question. Who can read it for me? Thank you, Adela, go ahead. Have you been to Vietnamese restaurant? Okay. Have you been or have you ever been? Have you ever, ever been? <laughs> have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? Okay. Has estado alguna vez en un restaurante vietnamita? What is the immediate uh, answer, guys? No, I haven't. I haven't. No, I haven't. That means no, never in my entire life. Uh huh. Muy bien. Pero I want to provide more details information. Can you continue reading for me, uh, Rene? Maybe Rene is here already. Rene or Rafael? Victor, you're here. Go ahead. Yes. Go ahead, sir. No, I haven't. But but I ate at a Thai restaurant last night. Very good. You see, the median answer to the present perfect question was negative, right? 
because I had never gone to a Vietnamese restaurant, guys. But I have to let you know that last night I ate a uh, which restaurant? Thai. At a Thai restaurant. Okay. And okay, so you provide me that information. And uh, and you know what? I'm like um how you say that? Make it in Spanish, right? I want to know more details about your experience at the Thai, Thai restaurant. So, quiero saber, did you go alone? Fuiste solo? No. No. I went, I with, went some with some friends. You see? I gave you more extra information. Pero te fijas que the first part of the answer was the immediate answer to the present perfect question. But then I continue with simple pass. Te fijaste? Yes. Exactly. And you know what? Y, y si yo puedo poder, poder seguir eh, haciendo preguntas. Did you go alone? No, I went with some friends. Why eh, did you go alone? Why, why with some friends? Do you have a girlfriend? Do you have a boyfriend? Y ahí voy, ¿verdad? Ven, ¿me entienden? Eso se llaman mm -hmm. sequency questions. ¿Sí? En in, in English. You, you're, you yes, want to yes, ask yes. or you want to provide more information about it. Okay? And you want to ask more information. Ven cómo son funcionan los dos. Okay. We're going to practice right now, guys. But do me a favor. Take a look at your um, WhatsApp right now. Mm -hmm. All righty. There you go. Okay. Did you receive it? Yes? Yes. Okay, cool. This is going to be a writing activity, okay? So basically, guys, we're going to do like we are 13 with me. That means that you are 12. So it will be six groups in total, okay? All right, so I'm going to send you the, the invitation. You select it, and I want you guys to work in basically that information that I sent it to you. It's going to be five dialogues, okay? It's really easy. All that you gotta do is you will see the a verb in parentheses, yes? All that you have to do, guys, is to put the verb into the present perfect or past tense, okay? okay? There you go. You will have only five minutes, that's enough. There you go. Already, I'm missing Melvin and I'm missing Renee. Melvin, have you not enjoyed uh, the breakout room yet? Okay, there you go.
had. Or Any yes, question, I... guys? Is that okay? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. When I yeah. use a did for formulate a question, mm -hmm. um, my quickly answer is yes, I did, or yes, I have. For example, in the number three, I have the question to did you have Ah, very good, very good. Take a look. It, did you? This is simple past or present perfect? Past. Simple past. So your immediate answer will be simple past, Roxy. Mm -hmm. But in the first so I did. Uh -huh, yes, I did. Period. I, li I like it. Okay, I like it too. But in the first one, have you ever been to a picnic at the beach? Have you ever? This is present perfect or simple past? Present perfect. Okay, so if I immediate answer, it will be present perfect or simple past. Yeah, present perfect. Uh, exactly. See, present perfect. Present perfect. I yes, I have. Yes, I have. Exactly. There you go. And you will continue with past. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any okay. other question? Is that okay? So. Okay, cool. No, that's it. Very good. Continue, guys, okay? Okay. Voy por el middle term. All right, how are you? Everything is okay? Yes. yes Any questions? Sure. No, Any teacher, doubts? No? Did you finish? Yes. Okay. Oh, my goodness, you are so fast. <laughs> wow. Like, alrighty, Mr. Lighting My Queen is not like, compared to you. It's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. All right. One minute and then we go back, okay? Okay. Okay. You can, you. you can continue practice the, uh, the present perfect. Would you like me to send you some questions? <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Tell me else. Tell me uh, something. Have you ever drink um, coconut water, guys? Drink. Uh huh. Coconut water. Coconut Yes. Yeah. Yes, I have. All righty. And did you like it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh huh. Yes. Just yes, what? Just yes, I? I did. Yes, yes, I, I did. did. Okay. Yes, I did. When was the first time? Uh, if if I want, did, if you are, if I want, um, give you a more information. For example, yes, I did. Mm -hmm. um, today. Mm -hmm. No, but but it's today, right? So we have. No, you can do it today. About, I drunk. Today, okay. Mm -hmm. The past yeah. tense of drink. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I'm today I drunk uh today I drunk coconut water um in the afternoon mm -hmm. it's okay okay yeah very good because you talk because it's something that you already passed is something that you did so you use past tense very good job what okay. what happened Emerson uh, I have a question go ahead sir um because you said drink but no sería drunk. No, I said drunk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the pass of I, drink. Mm -hmm. Yes. I heard drink. No, was drink or drunk, Letty? Drunk? Drunk. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Must be drunk, right? Yes, drunk, exactly, because it's a past it's a past tense of drink. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. All right, guys, we're going okay. to go back, okay? Thank you. Thank you.
Okay, did you finish? Was it good? Yeah? All righty. Okay, let me ask you. Volunteer? All right, thank you so much. And Victor, you were working with who? Roxana. Roxy. Okay, can I have okay. please the first dialogue? You can be A and Roxy will be B. Go ahead. Okay. Um, have you ever been to a picnic at the beach? Again. Yes. Again, Victor, with question intonation. Do you remember? Okay. Have you ever been to a picnic at the beach? Excellent. Go ahead. Yes, I have. My family and I had a picnic at the beach last month. We cooked uh, hamburgers. Yay! Very good. Excellent job. We cooked hamburgers. Excellent. Bravo. Very good. All righty. <laughs> Second victim, sorry. Second participants. Mr. Melvin, you were with who? Ernest Sandoval. Very good. Uh, number two, please, if you don't mind. Go ahead. Okay. I Melvin, you're be... going to be A, and Mr. Rene will be B as in boy. Okay. Have you ever tried sushi? Oh, yes. No, I have, but I like to. Again, uh, Rene, no, I what? No, I has. My no, house. I has or no, I haven't? No, I haven't. Yay, very good, because you were talking about you, I. Very good, excellent. No, I haven't, but I like it too. Say it again. You can do it, sir. Give me the answer once again, Rene. You can do it. I know you can do it. Uh, B. Yes, B, of course, you. Or two. Uh, no, I haven't, but no, I haven't, but I'd like to. Very good. Excellent. Great job, sir. Great job. Woohoo. Excellent work. Teamwork. Very good. All right, Gabby, what about you? Who you work with? Who did you work with? Uh, Mauricio. Righty, let's uh, uh, speak with Mauricio. Will be you're going to be A and Mauricio will be B. Action, please. Me A. Yes. Okay. Um. Did you have breakfast today? Mm -hmm. Yes, I have. Perdón, perdón, perdón. Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. Estoy perdido. Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. I ate. A huge breakfast. Wow, congratulations. Was it true? <laughs> uh, maybe. Uh, yes, uh, maybe. No, I know <laughs> that it's true. It was a huge breakfast. All righty. Excellent job. Adela, what about you? Who did you work with? With Stephanie. With Steffi. All right. Adela, you're going to be in letter A and Steffi will be in letter B. Action, please. Have you ever eaten Mexican food? Have you ever? Have you ever eaten? Eaten? Very good. Excellent. What's the answer, Steffi? <laughs> Number four. Yes, I have. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have. In fact, I ate some just like food last week. Very good, excellent job, great job. And last but not least, uh, Leticia, who did you work with? Letty. Hey, do you work with Emerson, with right? Emerson. All righty, you will be letter A and Emerson will be letter B. Action, please. Hi, I'm sorry. <laughs> Give me one second. Of course, take no time, no rush. All right, Mr. Emerson, you're going to be letter A, and we're going to switch with uh, letter B, letter B, okay? Okay. All righty. Did you drink coffee this morning? Okay, uh, Letty, what will be your okay. answer? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. I drank, I, I had mm -hmm. some on my way to work. Excellent job, very good, you see, woohoo, excellent. Yes, you make me feel proud of you. Okay, let's continue working with the present perfect. All righty. I'm going to send you right now, guys. And, um, basically, it's going to be a homework 
for you to practice because tomorrow you're going to ask one of the questions that I will send it to you to your classmates. That will be the first thing that we're going to do when we start our class tomorrow, okay? Alrighty. Okay, guys, now we're going to start a different topic, but also includes simple paths and first perfect. But hey, guys, tell me something. Um, do you know what Elvis Presley's favorite food is? Or was, because he's already passed away. Any idea? Any idea? Sushi. <laughs> no, Victor. No, I, th I think no. sushi is your favorite food. Yes, it is. It's my, <laughs> yes, 100%. Yes. I love when, Asian food when, by heart. When, okay. somebody is talking, when somebody is talking about sushi, your smile is so big. Yes. But this, but actually, this question is not related about me. It was related to Mr. Elvis Presley. All righty. Okay. I will not give you more detailed information about sushi. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All righty. Very good. Okay, guys. So listen carefully because I want to play something for you. And just let me know what you, you understand about that. Okay. Bear with me for a couple of minutes. And uh, let me know if you're able to listen to this information. Okay. Bear with me. All right. Elvis Presley's favorite sandwich. Do you listen? Can you listen, guys? Yes. All yes. Right. All right. Listen carefully. What is Elvis Presley's favorite sandwich? And let me ask you something. Do you think this is a healthy snack? Think about it and just listen to the recipe, okay? Elvis. Family Cookbook, Part A. Listen to this recipe for Elvis Presley's favorite sandwich. Do you think this is a healthy snack? Peanut butter and banana. Three tablespoons peanut butter. One banana, mashed. Two slices of bread. Two tablespoons butter, melted. First, mix the peanut butter and mashed banana together. Then, lightly toast the slices of bread. Next, spread the peanut butter and banana mixture on the toast. After that, close the sandwich and put it in a pan with melted butter. Finally, fry the bread until it's brown on both sides. Alrighty, guys, tell me, what is the, uh, Mr. Elvis Presley's favorite uh, dish or sandwich? Peanut butter. Peanut butter, butter and banana. 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 Guys, do you think this is a healthy snack? No, yeah. because oh. the, they see this fried. Oh, yes, it's, it's a healthy food. <laughs> yes. But, but, Roxy but she said yes. 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 But she yes. says yes. yes. it's fried. It's fried. I'm not a nutritionist, but... Yes, and peanut butter is so delicious. Fried. <laughs> oh my God, this is a cooking fighting. Actually, peanut butter is healthy, but in no big quantities, okay? Oh, yeah. So, take it easy. But you know what? You, hey, have you ever uh, know about that? That peanut butter with banana was the favorite Mr. Elvis Presley sandwich? That was amazing, right? All righty. Did you listen? Uh, what was the uh, what were the ingredients and what was the detailed information of the preparation? Okay, let's look at it. Okay, in details, and I'm going to ask you for your help because you had to let me know in the pictures what will be the first step, the second step, the third step, and so on. Okay, so bear with me for a couple of minutes. Woohoo! Okay, there you go. Okay, can you see it? Or would you like me to make it a little bit bigger? Will be good? Is it okay? Yes. Okay, cool. All right. Tell me something, guys. You see, we got first, first. right? Then we have, then we have next, right? Uh-huh. After that, and Finally, guys, tell me something. This is the steps to prepare Mr. Elvis Presley's favorite sandwich. Is that correct? Yes. yes. All righty. But guys, 
could you please be so kind to let me know why I circle these words first, then next, after that, and finally? Why? S sequence of verbs. Uh, yes, they are sequence, exactly. But uh, do you think it's verb? Are there verbs or not? No. No. They are sequence, but how do we call them? Take a look. Adverse. Sequence uh, adverse. 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 Guys, this is really important because sometimes we use the same word like and then, and then, and then, but we need to be more fluent, right? Okay, so that's what the adverse of, free, of sequence helps us to, okay? Not only to put every, the ideas in order, but at the same time to express ourselves more frequently way, okay? In fluently way, okay? And guys, mm -hmm. when do we use them most of the time? For example, when you, when you want to make some cook, okay? Or when you want to share your recipes, right? You have to provide all the steps to follow, right? Is that correct? Mm -hmm. All right, yes. So guys, tell me something. According to what you have read, do me a favor because I need your help. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five pictures. Which one is the first one? Four. Okay, which one? Four. Four? Four. Four. Okay, first is number one. Okay, what about number two? Fear. Fear. The third one? Okay. What about number three? The first one. The first one. All right. What about number four? The last one. The last one. All right. And number five? Second one. The second, second one. All right. Very good. Okay. Very good. Let me something, guys. Would you like to try this sandwich? This Mr. Elvis Perez's specialty? Yes. Yeah, yes. right. Yeah, Victor said, yeah, yeah, 100% sure. <laughs> okay, but I don't think Melvin will try it. I don't think so, right, Melvin? No. No. All right. Melvin don't like healthy. But it's not healthy because it's fryer. <laughs> it's fryer. <laughs> what is oh, oh, my it's God. I. You know what? I don't want to be in the middle of this, of this excuse. Fryer. Come on. <laughs> if what? All if, right. If, it, if we're toasted, if we're <laughs> toasted, Oliva, it's healthy. Right. All right. <laughs> Talking about that, Mr. <laughs> Melvin, let me show you guys some, some ways to cook. We got baked, mm -hmm. right? We got baked. boiled. No. Bake is healthy. Fried, grill, roast, and a steam. You know what a steam is, guys? Al vapor. Exactly. Very good. So mm. do me a favor, guys. Um, okay, let me, you have to help me on this as well. All righty. This one. Yes, this one. Tell me. Okay. Here we have the method of cooking and here we have the food, right? So fish, how do you prepare it? How can you prepare it? Como lo puedes preparar? Right. Right. What else? Grill. Grill. What else? Roast. Roast it? Okay. Bake. Steam. Bake. Bake. Steam. All right. Steam. 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 Can you yeah. boil it? Yes. Yeah, right? No. If you're making no. soup. No, right? But it's not going to taste good. So. Okay, what, what about shrimp? Boil. Uh, mm, boil, okay. Fry. Fry. Fried. Fried. Okay. Real. 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 Roast. Roast it, okay. No, it's still no. Cocktail. Oh, yes. Cocktail. All right, At guys. Limo. Yeah, At limo. Yeah. What a limo. What about eggs? Boy. Egg, ball, fried. Boil. Boy. Fried. Boy. Grill, no. A steam? A steam. No. A steam. Are you sure? No. Yes. No. Oh. Well, okay. What about chicken? Bake, boil, fry, grill. Basically yeah. everything, right? Yeah. Yes. All right. What about beef? The same. The same? All right. Same. What about potatoes? Bake, boil, fry, corn. Everything? Skin. Everything. everything. What about everything. onions, guys? Uh, everything. Too. Everything too. 
Every day, do? Right. Right. Yes. What about eggplants? But it says eggplant. What does it mean? All righty. Um, Berenjena. Berenjena, oh. okay, think. You cannot bake it. Oh, yes, you can bake it. Yes. You can yes. boil it. You can fry it. You can grill it. You can roast it. And you can steam it. But I don't like a steam it. All right. What about bananas? Everything? <laughs> Egg, boil, fry, Just grill, bake. Roast, steam. Just bake, right? Because you cannot fry. boil it. Fry it, yes. What fry. about grill? Fry, fry, bake. All right. It's steam? Yeah, no, right? Grill. Grill, yeah. Yes. All right. Tell me, guys, according to this uh, method of cooking, what is your favorite method of cooking? Fry. Grill. grill. All right. What grill. else? Like. Gabby, Adela, Roxy, Letty. Renee, bake for me. In All right, bake. Quarantine the boil. The boil. <laughs> All righty. In this quarantine. In this quarantine, the boil. Yeah, boil. All righty. Okay. Yes. Okay, guys. We will continue with this topic tomorrow, but I'm going to send you some information right now, and this is going to be the homework. Okay, I want you to think about not only the question, but also the possible answer that you might give if they ask you that question. And also, guys, think about it. What will be a sequence question that your coworker or your classmate can ask you, okay? And guys, I, I will have... Tomorrow, I will have a surprise for you. But this yeah, is regarding yeah. a homework. It's regarding a homework, okay? And I know okay. that you will love it. Okay. Kahoot, tomorrow. No, sir. No, <laughs> we have no time for Kahoot. No, no, no. I'm sorry for that. But uh, it's going to be really fun what I will ask you to do for me and for everybody. Okay? Oh, you know what? What Gab Gabby says? It was like, what the he she wants to get into my mind i think and wants to figure it out what the teacher is thinking about no you will never get it my dear <laughs> just kidding <laughs> all righty okay guys any questions so far is so good okay good all thank right you. very good guys thank, thank, you, thank for, you for help thank you thank you for coming have a lovely night take care sweet dreams and great dinner bye-bye bye, -bye. bye. bye. bye.